welcome back to a new vlog i'm pretty sure this is the first vlog of this year yes this is the first vlog of the year um right now my mom here she is and then kendra's back there Hello. and kendra and i were about to go to the marley movie premiere um the bob marley movie i think it comes out on valentine's day uh february 14th um so as soon as i saw the trailer i was interested we were running a little bit late because we lost track of time because i was gonna take me a nap but then i looked at the clock and the time that i wanted to take a nap with the time that i was supposed to start getting ready so i didn't get to take a nap nobody got to take a nap yeah. so <laughs> took a power nap 15 minutes now see that don't work for me if i'm sleeping for 15 minutes i want to sleep for like another 15 minutes Kendra so it is uh, Friday the 2nd of February we're getting ready to go to a Hawks and Suns game and it's been years since we've been to a basketball game and this is like a late Christmas gift from my mom to me and Kelsey because we love basketball but we only watch it at home I never go to games and it's so weird because we've been living in Atlanta for like over a decade now but yeah it's gonna be fun and I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm wearing really quick so the shirt is Scams these pants are from Urban Outfitters and they're like these really baggy like cargo pants. I love the wash of the black and they're really comfortable. And I'm wearing my like patent leather Jordans with these and they're like multicolored. And I'm gonna be wearing it with this jacket, this like Apollo Nassau jacket from Urban Outfitters as well. Um, so I thought this was quite fitting cause it has red in it. So this is the jacket I'm wearing. first quarter but they pulled it through so this is what I wore I didn't get a chance to show y'all before I left because we're running kind of late so I'm just wearing this vintage Hawks jacket it's like really big but I got it on Etsy and it's vintage so that's why it's so big it's like an extra extra large so it's a very big jacket <laughs> this is such a big jacket and I'm just wearing like a cream tee underneath and then these are jeans that I wore from Urban Outfitters, worn with some black and white J's. I'm ready to take this makeup off. I actually still have to do a little bit of work, just a little bit. I have to rewatch a clip of a video that I have to send over to a brand to get approved by Monday, so. Um, Cause it's like, yeah, it's already 11, so. Oh, this battery's flashing. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys either tomorrow or the day after, so. Kendra and I are actually about to get ready to go to a birthday dinner. I think it's gonna be at a place called Cocktails, Cocktails and something. I'll put the name on the screen when we get there. Uh, I do remember I didn't talk to you guys after we left the Bob Marley screening. Literally like the next day, well the day after that. That was a day in between. I know the clip after that we went to the Hawks game, but the movie was really good. I do recommend going to see it. The pacing was a little slow in the beginning. I felt like most of it felt like a very long music video. It felt like a very long music video, but it was perfect if you really enjoy his music and I really do um, enjoy his music. The one who played 
Bob Marley, what's his name? He played in High Fidelity with Zoe Kravitz. I love that show on Hulu. I wish it got, would've got picked up for season two, but it, it didn't. He played Bob Marley, he did a great job. Yeah, his name's Kingsley Ben Adair. Yeah, he did an excellent job to me at portraying Bob. It was very, very accurate. Um, and then the one who played his wife, her name is Lashana Lynch. She played in Woman King, but yeah, they did a really, really good job. I feel like all the actors did a great job, but um, I thought the movie was pretty good. I'm just refreshing my hair because this is like a six day wash and go. Yeah, this is like almost like a week old hair. Getting really good at stretching my wash and goes. By the way, I'm just refreshing with this Camille Rose Honeydew Liquid Moisture Refresher. I love this stuff. They had like this little after party after that we went to at apartment, it was called apartment 14 or something. Oh, that place we went to for the after party. I forgot. The apartment 14. I'm sure that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have vlogged in there, but it was like really, really dark. Pitch it was black. very dark. It was like pitch black in there. But the drinks were bomb and they had like these um, Jamaican inspired like hors d'oeuvres that were delicious. A lot of kebabs. That chicken was bomb. Yeah, and the shrimp. Yeah, the shrimp was bomb. And then the chicken was delicious. But yeah, I would have vlogged in there, but when I turned my camera on, I like it was so dark, I could barely see. But yeah. But like I said, we're getting ready to go to this birthday dinner for Claudia. She's an Aquarius. Shout out to all the Aquariuses out there. I love Aquariuses. Yeah, me too. We really get along with Aquariuses very well. We do. I feel like I always have. Me too. They're just very like, I think because they're like super like independent like us. Yeah, free like thinkers. Very free thinkers, yeah, I love that. They don't let other people think for them. Yeah, they're not pushovers. Yeah. I love me and Aquarius. Hopefully the food is good at this place. I've never heard of this place when she me takes either. it to us. Yeah. Yeah, I've never heard of this place, so hopefully the food is good. That looks good. Thank you. This is like this is I did this is the wash and go I residue with this. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Are you putting too much product in the front? Because sometimes when you have the residue. Or I told you like before your hair is finished, like completely drying, you have to let it finish drying before you put your bonnet on. Because sometimes your hair is not dry in the front completely, like underneath, and you put your bonnet on, it can leave flakes. Hmm. Like in the front. Interesting.
guys, done getting ready. Was having a little trouble with my foundation because I had a brush that needs to be washed and it made some of my foundation like blotchy. So that's where this, um, this airbrush setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury came in handy. And plus my skin is dry because it's winter, so. I'm gonna put on my perfume and then I'm just wearing this turtleneck, this chocolate turtleneck from, I think it's from Misguided. Then I'm just wearing these really cute Zara jeans. Like I've had these for, I don't even know how long, even though I barely got into them today, but that's okay. And then this is the fragrance I'm wearing. Kendra got me this for Christmas. It smells amazing. It's from the brand The Tall Paris. And this is their Tenue de Soiree. So she's been getting me into niche fragrances because I don't like smelling like everyone else. <laughs> so this is just like a nice, clean, sweet, powdery scent. Just very super feminine and like sexy, but like soft at the same time. I'm just gonna put on my 5,000 rings that I always wear. I've always been a ring girl, so let me know if you guys are ring girls because I don't know what I'm doing like when I get married because I honestly like when I'm engaged, I don't wanna wear any other rings on this hand. So I'm just gonna have to have a bunch of rings on this hand. But my grandmother was the same way. I've seen pictures of her like back in the day and she always wore a ton of rings. And I was like, oh, that's where I get it from. Cause she likes to wear like a lot of rings. So I'm just wearing these booties. And then I'm just wearing my vintage leather jacket. Okay guys, so as for what I'm wearing, um, Kelsey and I wore the same thing by accident. When I picked out my outfit, she said, oh, I'm wearing a leather jacket with a turtleneck and booties. And I said, look, I'm wearing a leather jacket with a turtleneck and booties. I think I wore different tones, so, cause I was not changing my outfit. Um, but I'm wearing my black leather jacket. I think this is from Meshki with a Zara turtleneck underneath. And I'm just wearing these light wash jeans. They're like boot cut jeans. And I'm gonna wear with these booties. I call these my Sanderson sister booties because they look like very hocus pocusy. And these are really old from like Nordstrom. And this is the perfume that I'm wearing. This is Arabian's Tonka from Montal. And it's like perfect for this outfit. And it's really cold out, so quite fitting. That's what I'm wearing. Hopefully I have some gas because I really don't feel like stopping to get gas at night. I'm sure I'm, sure I'm good. So today is Monday. We haven't vlogged, I don't think, since Thursday when we were at uh, our friend's birthday dinner. I wanted to go do a little bit of grocery shopping today, but it's still raining. It's been raining since last night and it has not stopped raining. And there is a flood warning. So I'm just not trying to go out into soupy streets. Uh, thank God Kendra made some homemade vegetable soup that has lasted us a few days. So I'm just gonna eat that for dinner. But yeah, that was our first time at that restaurant. The place that we went to was in Tucker, Georgia, and it was pretty good. Um, the atmosphere was really cool. They had really, really, really good music playing. And then I think around nine o'clock, that's when like the live band came out. It's called Catch Kitchen and Cocktails. I think it's been open for like a year. I got some lamb chops and they were really, really good. I don't eat red meat that often, but I don't know, every time I've been going to dinner, I just like ordering lamb chops. Like if they have lamb chops on the menu, I'm gonna get them because I just love lamb chops. And then on New Year's, uh, we had steak. It was so good. Kendra said her salmon was okay. And I just think it's because she has very high standards for salmon because her salmon is so good and juicy and delicious. Everything else that everybody else got looked delicious too. And then Claudia said she loved her hen. Um, she basically said it tastes like chicken. But yeah, the music was really good. So if you like like old school, early 2000s to like 90s R&B, you would really like the atmosphere in there. Sorry, I'm doing an oil treatment. I haven't done one in like two weeks. By the way, the uh, today's oil, I'm just using this Aunt Jackie's Elixir. This is the Sal Palmetto Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Grape Seed Oil. And then I'm also gonna do the Thank God is Natural Tea Tree and Olive Oil on my scalp. I'm almost out, there's like almost nothing left. And then on my ends, I'm just gonna put the Carol's Daughter Born to Repair Oil. 
on my ends. I'm almost out of these oils. I need to get some more. I know Shea Moisture has like a new Bond Repair line and I really want to try the oil. And my favorite um, deep conditioner, the Manuka and Honey line. They have a new hair oil that I also want to try. Because they used to have a matching oil that went with the, the deep conditioner, but they discontinued that one. So I wonder if this one is similar to that one. Uh, last night was the Usher Bowl. And I really did enjoy Usher's performance. I just feel like it went by way too fast. I thought they got like 20 minutes or halftime, but apparently not because they went by super fast. Um, I felt like he was out for like five minutes. It just went, went by way too fast. Since it's a rainy day and I have to change my errands or what I was gonna do. Um, today I'm just gonna open some packages and then also I'm gonna change my shower head because um, Kendra and I both got, well, Jolie, the brand Jolie. They contacted me on Instagram asking if I wanted to try their shower head. And I haven't wanted to try it for a while because I had been seeing ads on Instagram like every other day. And I was like, I wonder is this BS or does this filtered shower head actually make a difference? They ended up sending me one and then I bought another one for Kendra so we both can try it and see if we see a difference in our skin and our hair. Because sometimes I do wash my face in the shower at night because it's supposed to help um, if you have like a lot of hair loss. Um, if you have like really dry skin, if your hair is extra dry, it's supposed to have a ton of benefits to this shower head. So, so I will be using my new shower head later on today when I wash this oil treatment out. I highly doubt that I see a difference in like a week or something. I probably it probably is gonna take me maybe like two or three weeks to see an actual difference. Cause most of the time with gimmicky things, I always am skeptical and I, I just. I don't know. I'm just a little skeptical, so we'll see. Hopefully it does make a difference though. Cause I'm all for showering in cleaner water in general anyway. Um, so let me know if you guys have tried the Jolie shower head. And if you have not, you can join the journey with me and see if it makes a difference with your hair and your skin. So I will leave a link in the description box. This is not sponsored by the way. It's just a link that I do get a little bit of commission on if you guys purchase from that link. But yeah, by the way, if you want to go to the place that we went to, to eat the other night, um, on Thursday nights is when they have the band, which is why she wanted to go um, eat that day. The band was really good. The guy who was singing, incredible voice. I think Claudia said that he was a part of Black Street. If you are not a millennial and older, you probably do not know who Black Street is, but it's just an old school singing group. But yeah. Um, but the only thing is, I wouldn't recommend this place on a Thursday night if you want to have conversations because the band is kind of loud and you can't really hear <laughs> the person you're sitting next to. You have to like yell to talk to them. When they just had the regular music playing, it wasn't too loud though. So I did like that. If you're trying to go like to, on date night with your husband or something, it's a, a cool place to go to because they also have these very large TVs. I'm like, is this a sports bar or a restaurant like, um, that they had basketball playing on? I'm not lying, I was watching the game too. So it's a nice balance of like a place that you would enjoy and your man would enjoy, I think. And the service was pretty good. Um, they do have valet. The valet guys were super sweet, but you can also have the option to self park as well, which is also nice. The valet does get kind of expensive. Like any kind of parking in Atlanta gets expensive. Like it's ridiculous. Just about to finish this oil treatment. I needed it desperately because I haven't washed my hair in like nine days.
Okay guys, I have my Jolie box right here. There he is. It says it's easy to reinstall, but we finna see. So this just basically has like their mission statement on it and like the purpose of this company being created. Purified water is the key ingredient in improving your skin and hair and overall well-being. The water in which we've been showering in contains chlorine and other harmful chemicals that are damaging. These chemicals strip out the natural oils in your skin and your hair and contribute to the issues that may that many of us are willing to spend endless amounts of money on in the form of products for dry skin, brittle hair, out of control frizziness, breakouts, acne, eczema, balding, just to name a few. And I'm also hoping that this will help my um, all of my products work better because um, it said that it's supposed to do that as well. So I just got the silver one. I have the silver one because obviously my shower head is silver. They do come in black. Well, they have a brass gold one. It's super pretty. Like I really wish that I had brass fixtures in my bathroom, but I don't. Um, so I just got the silver one. Well, I think this is called metallic or something. I think it's called silver. I think it's metallic or something. Um, and it has all the directions here. And it comes with the little tape that you put around your uh, shower head. If you ever changed your shower head, you know it's like um, some tape that they put there, shower tape. And then it comes with this cute little wrench. simple enough so it actually was easier than I thought it would be and the water pressure on this is actually better than my old one the only thing I'm gonna miss about my old one is the fact that it's detachable and it's like great for rinsing off like um, body scrub and stuff like that but and shaving cream but the water pressure was not as good as this one so yeah 